Good morning. I just want to thank everybody for the support, for the well wishes, and thank you for your prayers. Thank you for joining us in the struggle at the toll gate, for sounding the alarm, and for alerting the public. I thank you for witnessing what happened at the toll gate. Most importantly, my brothers and sisters at the toll gate, I've never met a finer set of people in my life. I'm sorry I haven't said anything in a couple of days. Um, I didn't realize I'd sustained some injuries and I, I, I had to get treated for that. I especially want to thank a few people who, at the risk of their own safety, came out to get me as my, my own life was being threatened. My life was being threatened for, for, for speaking up. And I, um, thank you, Obi. Thank you, Big N. Thank you, Jimmy. Thank you so much. Thank you to Ahis, Breeze, uh, Richard. Thank you, Mr. P. Thank you all for getting me out safely. I don't want to talk too much. I just want to clear a few things that I've been seeing online. To our leaders, I urge you, please, do not minimize the suffering of families. Do not insult the grief. Do not insult the grief of Nigerians. Do not insult the intelligence of Nigerians. Do not insult the pain that families are facing. People, people were falling left and right. Yes, there were soldiers there. Another part that people are not really talking about, the police also came. The SARS people were talking about, they also came. So maybe 40, 45 minutes after the soldiers left. We were tear gassed. Tear gas is, is like, it's like, it's like pepper, right? It's like, it's like kotonu pepper mixed with acid. It's like, we were running, <laughs> this, this is our, what they call it, our coconut hair generation. <laughs> we would run, we would come back, we would run. And the only thing we fought with was our flags. We would sit on the floor and raise our hands up, waving our flags and singing the national anthem. That's all we had. They put off the lights. Even if, even if there's no power on a good day in that axis, there's always light at the toll gate. There was no light. The lights were off. The street lights were off. It was pitch black. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um. A boy jumped on me and was shouting, cover her, cover her. I didn't even understand why he did that. They shot that boy on my back. I fell and while, they, while the soldiers were trying to pick their shells, we were running around and picking their shells too because we wanted proof. These are some of the shells we picked. These are some of the shells we picked. This one I call my own because it's, it's landed right next to my ear. This one was uh, one we took out from someone's uh, lap. The military, they were there on Nigerian soil, killing Nigerian citizens. The police and their SARS-like people came doing the same thing. Aiming and shooting. Aiming, not 
they were pointing the gun at us and shooting live bullets. Who takes live bullets to protest? Who does that? So, uh, to my um, to our leaders, please, I urge you to to please not insult the intelligence of Nigerians and, and the families. Something I, 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 I think about now in hindsight, just I wish we we hadn't done it, but we carried dead bodies and dropped at the feet of the soldiers so that they could see what they did to us. When I asked the um, unit commander or something, why are you killing us? I wish we didn't do that. I wish we kept the bodies because they ended up throwing the bodies in their van. This was up until the next day, the next morning. Anyway, I want to I wanna thank uh, a Mr. Ola, who uh, is the man manager of Vodic Hospital. Vodic, Vodic Chester. Thank you for, I'm sorry we put you in harm's way, but thank you for letting us into your facility and treating our brave Nigerians. Thank you to Life Point Church for giving us refuge. I also want to plead to the people opening fake accounts with my name. Please, it's, it's already hard as it is. People risk their lives to get me out of, of, my, of, of my place, the place I call my home. Please, stop saying things you don't know. I understand things are hard. I understand things are difficult. This, this era of social media, you you want to um, get uh, followership that can help you also make some money.